Hi, I'm David, and today I'll do a little deep dive into the idea of crypto mining, into what proof of work uh, consensus mechanisms represent, and how are they inherently different from proof of stake. And then I'll take you through the Byzantine general problem a little bit and explain to you what's the connection between it and the proof of work consensus, consensus mechanisms. So first of all, to discuss about what crypto mining is, the term of mining is inherently uh, kind of like devised from the idea of proof of work consensus because the way consensus is reached in the proof of work mechanism is that uh, basically the, the every single node from the from the chain needs to verify the transaction and verifying represents uh, the idea of mining basically uh, translates into the process of verifying and adding a new transactions to to the block and miners they're using uh, com like computing power to verify advanced transactions that are called hashes here and uh, to do that they are incentivized by uh, rewards on the network. Usually, I mean, almost all, all the time, the rewards being in the in the cryptocurrency of that specific network. And like the 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 biggest, the, like the biggest, obviously, in the scepters of um, of the proof of work concept is obviously the Bitcoin uh, network. Uh, another point is that in order to uh, in order to keep the network running safe and it's like its validity. Uh, it is essential to have miners running running the running the transactions and verifying each transaction because the system is reliant on this mechanism of reaching consensus. If more than like fifty one percent of the of the network would be uh, would be owned by someone, uh, issues like uh, allowing double spending of the particular coin or even invalidating transactions altogether all would uh, would be possible. And because of this, uh, the system is, uh, yeah, like the network is incentivizing its uh, its miners through, uh, through rewards. The idea of miner or like the, compar the comparison with, uh, with, with your classic miners comes from the idea that you need a lot of computing power in order to be able to be the first one to solve the to solve that particular uh, that particular hash, and these hashes, they're also uh, they they get adjusted based on like the the difficulty for of the previous of solving the previous hash, so that uh, the the systems remains uh, remains stable. Uh, the main difference between this and the proof of stake concept and the proof of stake uh, consensus mechanism is that proof of stake was created to address the growing issues. And like the the growing sustainability issues of the proof of work uh, concept. This is because this is because uh, with a lot of computing power, it's obviously uh, there is a lot of like energy consumption involved, which is uh, raising extremely big uh, issues with sustainability. Uh, the proof of work and proof of stake concepts are just a couple. Like they're just like two examples of uh, consensus reaching algorithms, and there are, there are, there are various more examples. Like uh, I don't know, like proof of uh, proof of activity, proof of time, and uh, the to discuss them a little bit further in proof of work in the proof of work concept, the miners are um, they're competing basically for the rewards, which are regularly adjusted to uh, to maintain a consistency or rel relative consistency between uh, times needed to achieve a certain block, and because. Uh, of course, uh, miners are competing against each other. Higher computation power, which means like better components, better, uh, yeah, like mm, obviously like better components would uh, would involve uh, having to spend and would include like especially like more energy consumption and would make the entire uh, the entire operation more cost effective, uh, more uh, more costly. And because of that. Obviously, all the uh, there is an incentive to buy the most advanced, uh, the most advanced chips, the most advanced uh, graphics card available on the market in order to be able to have the upper hand against other miners and to be able to be the one or, or the part of the group that is solving the that is solving each block or that particular block first, so that you are to be getting the rewards. 
um, the entire supply in this uh, uh, in this in this case for Bitcoin is 21 million, and uh, the network is kept being regulated by the idea of and the the idea is that there there's there's no possibility of adding more coins to it. So there's like the stable the stable number of coins, and the rewards get halved once in four years. And when it started, the Bitcoin protocol uh, it used to reward 50 bitcoins per uh, per uh, obtain transaction like per salt uh, per salt hash and it has been uh, half now to uh, multiple times and is now at 6.25 um, bitcoins per per reward like per salt block in the proof of stake concept which was introduced and actually created in order to address the exaggerated energy consumption involved in mining bitcoins or well in mining any, any cryptocurrency that is based on proof of work and to do that uh, the system is uh, is conceptualized to to allow validation based on the amount of uh, of the cryptocurrency staked into into that specific network by staking we mean that uh, the, that particular amount is uh, willingly locked by the owner into the network in order to uh, to receive to receive that uh, advantage here and the rewards well the the choice of the validator is done randomly which allows a lot of uh, with compared to compared to the system to the proof of work consensus algorithm in which the network needs or or each each block needs to be validated by every single node in the network whereas here in the proof of stake the validator the validation yeah is uh, is, is based on the amount and it's like the validator is chosen randomly and because of that it doesn't uh, it doesn't require or like with all the validators but it doesn't require as many uh, it doesn't reach as many nodes and because of that the system is significantly more scalable and uh, allows uh, a lot more transactions per second and allows uh, better well allows the the opportunity to to scale the operation a lot more than into the into in the proof of work concept and now to discuss a little bit about the Byzantine general problem. Uh, it basically represents a classic computer science problem uh, discussing the challenge of achieving consensus in a distributed system in which there is no trust or that contains nodes with, that are with the potential of being unreliable or malicious or having, uh, uh, having an actor trying to, to tamper with the network. Uh, and the connection with the Byzantine uh, with the Byzantine general problem with the PO, POW consensus mechanism is that the POW consensus mechanism uh, developed by, by in the blockchain network in, in the Bitcoin blockchain network is the first application that actually and the first white paper that is that is suggesting a viable option to solve the Byzantine general problem, and because of that. Uh, into this, uh, into this, but it is devised in such a way that it's basically impossible to to obtain control over the network. As I was explaining earlier, given the necessity to like uh, to run the transactions and to run every single to to run every single block through uh, to all the transactions, and because of that, the idea is that the high energy costs led to that in, that were involved in the proof of work led to the development of alternative mechanisms that uh, have bigger chances of becoming uh, of becoming the main used or like become but what is important to also consider is the fact that uh, every single network and every single consensus mechanism would sometimes be recommended for a different use case and it's always essential to assess our use case or like the relevant information or needs before uh, before choosing uh, respective blockchain and or before choosing the respective uh, consensus algorithm to to do.